Welcome back to our technology tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to go over how to use Make MKV to digitize DVDs and Blu-rays that you own. So for this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the Make MKV software. You can get it at makemkv.com. You can download it from there. Uh, there will be a link in the description. You're going to need either a built-in or external via USB or similar uh, DVD drive or Blu-ray drive if you're converting Blu-rays. And then you're going to need either a DVD or Blu-ray depending on what you want to do. So step one, we're going to go ahead and download it from this website. Step two, once you're finished installing, you're going to need the beta key. Now this changes about every month or so. So whenever you, every month you need to come back and get the new key, it'll prompt you for it and you just enter it and you're good to go. I've already done that. So once you've got the program booted up, your DVD drive plugged in, if you have to plug it in, you're going to go ahead and insert the disc. Once the disc is inserted, you can see the animation changing. All right, now that our disc is loaded, we're back. You can see that uh, type shows up, the label shows up, protection. And then you can go ahead and click right here, and it's going to start scanning the DVD and trying to read all the chapters inside of it. Now this usually takes a minute or two, depending on how fast your DVD drive is and how much data is on the disc, but it's usually not more than a few minutes. Alright, we're back. Now you can see that it has shown up. We've got the title chapters, 6.6 gigabytes. That's most likely our full movie right there. Uh, usually I leave it all in anyway because I do extra processing afterwards. You can set your output folder here. You can see I'm showing it in C slash video. And then you press this button to make it an MKV. It'll ask if you want to create the folder, yes. And now here's the longest part usually. And this all depends on how fast your hard drive is, how fast your CD drive is, and obviously how much data is on your disk. Um, I've had it take upwards of 30 minutes before for larger disks because I have a fairly slow drive but it usually doesn't take too long. You can do this in the background while you're doing other things. And we'll be right back when it finishes scanning. All right, we're back from waiting and now you can see that the disc is finished scanning in, make MKV finished, pressed okay, and we return back to the screen. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play it due to copyright issues, but it is there and it's in the MKV format. And if that doesn't work for you, you can use another software to um, put it in something more like an MP4 or MPEG or whatever file type you need. Personally, I use Handbrake. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And remember, when you're playing these, if you've digitized it from a DVD, the quality may not be as high as what you can get on a streaming service, depending on how old the movie is or um, how high quality they recorded the original in. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.